How's it going, everybody? Rye Ray here today, and we are back with our Oakland Athletics franchise mode here in the off season of season number five, postseason for the first time in our franchise for us, at least uh, as my as my general manager career. First time we made the postseason, and it went eh. Can't really describe it much more than that. We lost three two in game five. It was one heck of a series. To be honest, it wasn't. It was a lot of blowouts one way or the other until game five, where it was actually close. Um, <clears throat> but Cleveland will now take on the Yankees uh, for to see who's going to go on to the World Series for the American League here. So let's go ahead and uh, just sim to the offseason. And stop. The Yankees made it to the World Series, and they are going to defeat the Dodgers. So the Yankees will eliminate Cleveland and uh, eventually go on to win the World Series. So... An AL team does win. I would like to not go to the postseason uh, and exit the postseason. They swept Cleveland too. Man, I wish we would have been able to get there and see how we could have done. Can't really uh, dunk on Cleveland because, uh, um, you know, we didn't make it there. They beat us. So uh, can I get postseason stats or is that not a thing? Statistics, player statistics, career. No. No, the answer is the answer is no. Okay, whatever. That's fine. We'll advance to the off season and third base coach and farm director contracts have ended. Need to resign them. Uh, that's fine. Fine. I mean, I did get a great comment. Hold on. Um, I, I got to make sure I give a shout out to the right name. Neo Lothbrook. Uh, Lothbrook. Uh, you said you don't need to put younger high potential guys on the 40 man roster. Only older guys can get picked off your team four or five years since drafted. They won't waste a 40 man spot. You can get it and you can get in rule five draft. Uh, you can also look under the contract if rule five eligible. So I do appreciate that comment uh, a lot. Oh, Drew Pomeranz retired. Pomeranz. Ah, he's a 61 overall. He's he's yeah, he's goodbye. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to go ahead and show you guys. See if that, you know, look through here. Free agent exclusive negotiations. Uh, Scooble. I'll say contract. You can see. Eligible for the Rule 5 draft. No, he's not eligible. That's probably because he doesn't have a contract, but, you know, it is what it is. Taking a look here at the roster, though, let's go to uh, our outfielder, say, Freddie Thompson, right? Our high potential dude is not eligible for the Rule 5 draft, so we don't have to be worried about losing him. Um, he does not have to clear optional waivers. He does not have to clear outright waivers. Does not, blah, 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 no waivers at all, right? Does not have to worry about that at all. So that's actually really important to look at. And, you know, we, it hasn't hurt us so far, uh, but it could, it could eventually hurt us. Um, and, and I'm glad that, you know, uh, that, that thank for that comment was there. This is why I love the comments. When you guys comment, I read them. It helps me out and it's going to make the series a better, a better series and hopefully make the team better too. But Miguel Castro here could potentially be on his way out. He had 16 holds, two blown saves, went seven and five. Not really what I'm looking for, uh, for evaluating my close uh, relief pitchers. Excuse me. Um, walks per nine was way too high. So we're going to let him go. Clayton Kershaw. We're going to let him go. Uh, Randy Rosarina, I think, I think we let Randy Rosarina go because out in left field, we have the up and coming, well, Jesus Sanchez, but also Freddie Thompson, who's already up to an 85 at 22. This guy is insane. He's going to play every day. He's got great contact, a really good arm. So, uh, he'll probably play in right for us. Uh, I'm going to edit him and send him out to right field. Uh, instead so we'll just do right field we'll train him to be right field and his secondary possession is left field so there we go all right so he is going to be a right fielder for us freddie thompson is going to be our right fielder oh i didn't i didn't save it my bad all right so we'll make him a right fielder please be a right fielder there we go accept changes there we go and now taking a look at it a rose arena does not need to be resigned because in the outfield we'll have freddie thompson who's down to an 82 in right 87 Alex Verdugo and then uh a Rosa uh then Jesus Sanchez would he be but he's ah uh, do I want the better fielder in right or left you guys let me know but for now that's our outfield is uh, is Jesus Sanchez Alex Verdugo Freddie Thompson and it's nice to have a um player we drafted step in there now Scooble taking a look at the rotation Scooble is much better than a guy like Glass now uh, and is much better than a guy like Grayson Rodriguez and Connie Nelson. But is it time to let those guys fend for themselves, right? Jordan Wicks as well. Save the money on Scooble. Go with Gallon and Peterson as our one-two punch. Then have Rodriguez, Glass now, and Connie Nelson. We know Connie Nelson's got that 99 potential, guys. And he grew very, very nicely this season. So it's probably time to get him 
some more opportunities. Same thing with Jordan Wicks here, right? Jordan Wicks is a solid left-hander that, you know, maybe we keep Connie Nelson in the bullpen. Maybe we start him. I don't know, but I think we'll at least have enough players here uh, starting pitchers that'll work. And we got Gunnar Hogland, who's in the AAA because he was hurt. So Gunnar Hogland's going to come back too. So I think it's okay to get rid of Scooball and let him walk. Now, I don't think we can uh, make a trade with Scooball now because he is out of contract. You guys can see here. I would love to move on from him, but he's not signed, so can't do that. But you guys can take a look at the budget. We have $45 million in budget, right? I'm not going to spend that because, as you guys saw, there's some pretty big players that I would like to bring back. So let's go ahead and take a look at our budget. Uh, as far as players that are expiring, let's go here. Yeah, Bobby Witt Jr. is expiring. Uh, Randy Rosarina is arbitration it is a free agent, but uh, oh, okay. So Rosarina is arbitration eligible. Uh, Scoobles arbitration eligible. So you guys can see Bobby Witt Jr. is on the last year of his deal. Jazz Chisholm. Back to back seasons last year. How was he? He was he was solid last year. This year he was just okay, just about an average starter and ten million. Not exactly what I was looking for. Give him I'll probably give him one half half a season. Uh, Torkelson uh, is still here for one more year, but you guys can see we're starting to get that range, but we're going to have to think about our budget quite a bit. Um, but Scooble is uh, arbitration. Castro, yep. Clayton Kershaw, we don't really care. Sanchez, Bush, and Poisson are all arbitration eligible. So Jesus Sanchez, I'd like to bring back. Same thing with Bush and Poisson. Um, and then as we keep going here, not really too important, but there are some names that we are going to have to think about. Plus, we need to find a new third base coach. Um, plus two speed, plus one fielding. Monty Shelley, make him an offer. He cannot refuse. We'll give him four million. Here we go. And then we need to also find ourselves a farm director. Um, who? Let's see. Uh, minus two clutch. No, thank you. Uh, minus one plate discipline. Ah, there we go. Edmund Rock, two, uh, two arm strength. Oof, plus three fielding, plus one contact though. Got to get the plus one contact. We'll give him also four years a, uh, a year, uh, four million a year. We're not going to rebrand the team. I don't think we're actually going to bring back anybody here. They're all aging, all you know, on the other side of 30. Now, I know a Rosarina and Scooball are good, but I'd like to save myself. Um, Monticelli has accepted. Beautiful. And Edmund Rock has accepted. And no, do not stop uh, simulating, celebrating. Um, let's keep going here. Tony G Gosselin, who's I think absolutely having a ridiculous season in real life, um, just signed to, with the Reds for a three-year deal. Uh, Trevor Rogers signs with the Rockies. Casey Mize signs with the Mets. Okay. And we are ready to offer salary arbitration. Jesus Sanchez will offer him arbitration of 4 million. There we go. Uh, Michael Bush will offer him arbitration of 80,000. That's fine. Uh, Poisson do the same thing. Ooh, offer him arbitration of one. We'll offer him 1.7 million. Here we go. Uh, and we'll start with Jesus Sanchez. Make him an offer. He wants a one-year deal at $5 million or, oh my God, well, maybe two years, three years at 11? Three years at 11 could be pretty good. Uh, three years at 10.5? Three years at 10.5. Uh, he's so good. He was so good for us this season, too. Like, he hit, he hit uh, 16 home runs, 50, only 50 RBIs. His war was only 1.7, but, you know, I think he's only going to get better uh, for us, too. So I I'm very happy to have J uh, Jesus Sanchez here. He's got the power that we need, so we're going to bring him back, I think. Uh, maybe we'll give him a one-year prove-it deal, actually. One year, $5 million. One year, $5 million. Give him a prove-it deal. See if he's going to take that, first of all. But then Michael Bush um, wants three years at 2.1. And listen, for a, be for a bench player uh, slash DH it's been as good as he has for us. Taking a look at his MLB stats. Three straight seasons with us. OPS has been, you know, ever since his first season, been really quite good. And his war has been solid. I mean, don't forget, he doesn't field at all. And he's a great guy to have just in case somebody gets hurt at second. Or maybe we move on from Chisholm. He's a guy that's going to be there, right? Um, so 2.1 per year, I think, would be great. Two, 2 million a year? Uh, 2.1. We can afford 2.1 a year. He's not going to be a star. Um, I'm going to tell him he's going to platoon. So we'll just pay him a bit more. I know that probably doesn't matter, but we'll pay him there. Robert Poisson is going to not, he's not going to be an everyday player. And I'm starting to wonder if he's worth it. He's been with us ever since the first season. And honestly, his hitting's only gotten better. How many, yeah, he had so many at bats that first season. And then ever since he's not really had that many at bats, not had an opportunity to really accumulate too much war, but he is, he's a great fielder. He's a great backup fielder uh, for two years at 3.9. I think we can afford that. Um, 
there's not really too many big names that are expiring this year for us um uh, so there we go four million will he will be a platoon player there uh and then diolas guerrera make him an offer nope and sam selman make him an offer nope all right so those are the guys that we are offering uh arbitration to tender contracts here we go ray del gaudio uh he is almost ready he's renewable we'll give him three years obviously if we have that option we're gonna give it to him uh brett harris bring these guys back now this is the part where i will catch up with you guys in a minute um once i have everybody offered a contract all right guys so everybody has tendered a contract we've only offered 13 and a half million in pending offers so far uh we've offered salary arbitration i do need to offer i think i yeah i did offer these the guys that i wanted a an official contract which is where our uh 13 and a half million comes from which means we have about 20 million to go nuts with right yeah so i don't know who we're gonna go after really uh there's nolan arenado here who's an absolutely fantastic hitter um brian anderson randy rosarina who you know we saw uh was good for us right he was solid for us but never i never so i don't really i mean 5.5 war this season is kind of insane it's kind of insane but i would like to play for i just would like to play freddie thompson I just would Garrett Whitlock Ooh, get a good bullpen arm here a good closer I know we have Karinchak but uh Luis Garcia Max Muncy here there's some power we've been looking we've been longing for some power and maybe I mean he's been playing in Colorado so what is he absolutely yeah 52 home runs this past season OP oh my god this guy is absolutely raking I mean it's Colorado first of all but you know who uh he could be our he could be our DH straight up. Just Max Muncy could be our DH. He wants two years, 14 million a season. He's probably easy to move on from. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to offer him that contract. We still have 10 million in potential, um, in, in potential, uh, budget. So, um, we should be Nick Castellanos though. Oh my God. Talk about a pure bread hitter. Good Lord, like that is just in, off the charts. I know Muncy, I mean, look at that 98 power, 90 home runs, 62, 69, 98, 90. But uh, taking a look at Castellanos, it's 84, 89, 85, 87. And then, yeah, what is he hitting? 30 home runs a season, over 100 RBIs, uh, OPS, close to a, <laughs> Jesus. And where, where was he playing? He was playing in Atlanta. Okay, so, wow, Atlanta's getting wrecked this year. They lost Ronald Acuna Jr., um, who I would love to go after, but I don't think we're going to have the money uh, to do that. We would offer him, if we uh, if we offered him 35 a year, that'd be our entire surplus, right? I just wanted to do the math in my head quickly. Uh, Nolan Arenado here is a great fielder, but I would need more power. Randy Rosarina is great, but I just don't think he's good enough fielding uh gavin lux very well rounded but no thank you we're obviously offering max muncie because of his 98 power and his 90 power against left but nick castellanos is 84 80 89 85 87 but is that 90 is that 90 power just straight up gonna be worth it i wonder um dansby swanson here you can see he doesn't have the all-around power i really i think it's between those two players in my opinion um Alec Bohm, I've DH'd him in out of the park baseball before. He was good for a season, uh, and then he fell off. So I've kind of got mixed feelings about him. Ha Young Kim though was always amazing for me, and he's a great, I mean, absolutely fantastic fielder there too. Glaber Torres, solid all around hitter. I just, I just don't think we're gonna find anybody as well rounded of a hitter as Nick Castellanos. And playing as a DH, I think it would could be a perfect spot for Nick Castellanos. Now I don't know why he's so amazing. Um, you know, because he had a down year in Cincinnati and then they moved on from him and then he was in Philly. Um, but I mean, look at this. His OPS has never been lower than 882. He's never hit fewer than 33 home runs. His fewest uh, RBIs was 82. Like, that's crazy. What's his runs created? His runs created have consistently been over 100. Isolated power above 250 basically every year. 13 at-bats per home run. He walks a good amount. He strikes out one out of every five at-bats. Uh, his fielding percentage is not great, but I wouldn't be signing him to field. I'd be signing him to be a pure DH, and his bat would straight up be worth it. Um, he's got 100 strikeouts a season, though. We, we do not strike out much as a team, um, but, you know, he might be the exception to bring him in. Holy smokes. Uh, although we haven't looked that deep into Max Muncy, who 
Uh, his batting clutch is 70 and dropping. Muncie is also 36. Nick Castellanos is 35 with a batting clutch of 72. Muncie's got a batting clutch of 70. Okay. But you guys can see here. I mean, he is in Colorado, so he does have that benefit of... Uh, um, uh, of the thin air there, but I mean, his strikeout percentage is higher. Zap bats per home run is very similar. Runs created is not, it's, it's Castellanos, guys. I'm going after Nick Castellanos to be our DH, just to up, upgrade it. Like, look, it is just so insane. 84, 89, 85, 87, 62. He's an atrocious fielder. I get it. He's also a bit cheaper, right? Uh, let's just offer him 14 million a year. I'm going to offer him 14 million a year to DH. You literally don't have to feel that all just DH, and we still have $10 million available, which means we can go after a, a Garrett Crochet or or Jose Suarez or Delvin Smeltzer, right? Uh, about $10 million a year for a reliever. A reliever! Emmanuel Class A is getting offered thirteen point one a season. Uh, one year at $13 million would put us over our potential. Okay, so... I got to know that we are only, we can only offer about 10 million a season. Um, Jose Suarez here. How is he pitched? Uh, good ERA. What's his FIP? FIP solid and 10 strikeouts per nine and a very low walks per nine as well. Now eight, nine, 10 strikeouts per nine. He's, he's just dominating. Um, Smeltzer here is another guy we could go after MLB stats. How many strikeouts per nine doesn't strike out a ton, right? Uh, Jordan Hicks is 30. Yeah, Ho Jose. I think I'm, I'm going to go after Jose Suarez. Uh, would cost us a good amount of money. So two years, uh, 16 million, 8 million a season to be sure. You can be the closer. Uh, I know we already have a closer, but I'll just offer it. And there we go. So, oh my God, I can probably bump that down just a bit. Uh, how about two years at 15 million to be the closer? Yeah, that, that would work. And we'd still have about... Eh, two million, two and a half million to go there. Trade talks. I mean, obviously we look, we look insane um, and it's only going to get better. We have money. We've got players on young contracts. So um, select the 40 man roster. So this is where, this is where you guys were saying that I need to improve. We have seven spots available. Um, so let's go ahead and see who's not on the 40 man that deserves to be on the 40 man. Uh, Junior Enriquez is not available, uh, eligible for the rule five. Julius Halfley is rule five draft eligible. So we will add him to the 40 man. Thank you, uh, for that comment. Again, it's proving to be very, very worthwhile as I just skipped over a player that in, in past seasons, I would have added Nick Plummer is eligible for the rule five draft. Yes. I'll, I guess I'll protect him. Uh, there's 45, uh, 35, excuse me, eligible for the rule five draft. Yes. Yuri Brel Angeles, not really concerned about that. Alan Kane is not eligible for the Rule 5 draft. Um, Leon, eligible. Yeah, I'm not really worried about the rest, rest of these guys, though. I'd like to keep some of our spots open. Um, so let's go ahead and just go a week. Acuna Jr. goes to the Giants, so staying in the NL. I, I like that. Uh, so, oh, look at that. So we have re-signed Jesus Sanchez and Michael Bush Oh, there we go. That is what you want to see. Uh, Resigned Julius Haffey, Jacob uh, Lemone, Willie Carter, Bush, Plummer, Sanchez, Pelus, uh, Reyna, Livingston, Kane, Murray. Oh, my goodness. Anybody here with a higher? Um, yeah. So nobody yet. Free agency offers. We're still the number one offer on everybody. Nick Castellanos is the really the one I want to go after. Jose Suarez, you know, we can... We can deal without Jose Suarez. We can find other pitchers, right? But just another great reliever there. Um, Poisson still needs his to sign his contract. We are going through and selecting our 40 man. Um, he's, nah, he's no longer uh, uh, willing to accept our offer. That's unfortunate. Jose Suarez signed with the Royals for a five year, $36 million contract. So just a bit over 7 million. Uh, seven and a half million, 7.25, 7.2 million, 7.2 million a year, I want to say. Um, so any relief pitchers, Garrett Crochet, Delvin Smeltzer, um, what's his strikeouts per nine? Again, it's not been good. Crochet, I crotchet crochet. I guess I'm maybe f fancifying his, his name, but we don't have really the money. I don't think to go after him because we have 18. We can only offer out up to 11, uh, Daniel Norris. Uh, actually pitched really well. Holy smokes. 
Uh, Norris, Norris is, whoa, who is this? Michael Feliz had a great, is just had a great season. Excels at striking hitters out. Feliz, one year, 8.2 million. Good Lord, Cincinnati. Okay, Miguel Castro, we, we've seen him. He's been with us. What's the strikeouts per nine? Eight. Um, there was also Jose Ruiz, uh, the Venezuelan, pitching for the Yankees, and looks like he did pretty good. Uh, Justice Sheffield is is probably, uh, oh, wow, Robert Zellman. Um, you can see he doesn't allow walks, does give up home runs, uh, but he was playing in San Francisco and Boston and Kansas, so he kind of has played everywhere. Um, Daniel Norris here with his nine and then less than three does give up home runs, though. Like, that's kind of the trade-off. And then Jordan Hicks, nine, five, and then almost none. We do have a lot of competition uh, for him, though, if we were to offer him, like, two years, 11 million. Uh, he's not even interested, right? So we need to keep looking at some of these stats to see who are the best pitchers available to us. But, I mean, I mean... I don't like over one home run. I like under home run. Jose Ruiz here uh, did walk quite a few batters. Didn't give up a ton of home runs, especially pitching in Yankee Stadium. Um, I'll give him two years, uh, five million a year. Uh, and there we go. The Yankees want him back. I want him instead. Um, he's, he's he's a good pitcher. So I think, feel like just, just need one more 80s something, you know, um, bang, bang, bang. Uh, no, I would like to not stop simulating and free agency Castellanos and Ruiz still haven't accepted our offers. Uh, Brian Anderson signs with the Braves. All right. Um, free agency. They're still there. Uh, we'll go a few more days. Free agency Castellanos and Jose Ruiz. Are we still number one? Uh, yes, we are. Cause we're offering a two year deal to Jose Ruiz who, you know, is pretty darn good. Um, Nick Castellanos, I really don't see anybody matching our offer for Castellanos. McCullers goes to Miami. Smeltzer goes to the Angels. That's not great because that's a division rival loading up. And Randy Rosarina goes to Houston for $16.1 million a year. I think we got a good deal with, with uh, Jesus Sanchez. So I'm very happy about that. Castellanos and Ruiz still haven't signed their deals. Uh, no, do not stop simulating. Free agency, are we still the number one offer? We are not the number one offer anymore for Jose Ruiz, who now happens to be one of the top uh, relievers available. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and up our offer. One year, six million. One year, six million. We can afford it. We out. I mean, we're outbidding the Phillies by one point one million. So we'll see. Um, Nick Castellanos does sign with us, and that I love that deal. Two years, fourteen million means we can move on from him if in the off season if he flops. I don't think he's gonna flop as a DH though. He doesn't have the field, and that was that's really his weak spot, right? We'll just completely just just let him rake. Uh, and Scubo leaves us to go to the Cubs, so leaving the American League as well. That's what you love to see, Jose Ruiz. Um, Abraham Toro goes to the Blue Jays. Luis Garcia goes to the Twins. Uh, Sandy Alcantara, Garrett Whitlock. Oh, Garrett Whitlock signing in our division is not what I like to see signed. Oh, see, I like I like I like Jesus Sanchez's deal. The one year five million dollars allows us to at, uh, load up elsewhere. We still have five million in surplus, but we were able to get Jose Ruiz to sign with us, which is I'm very happy about. He's making more than Jesus Sanchez, which is just downright wrong. Um, so let's go ahead and get through. Uh, Huascar Yanoa went to the Guardians, uh, and then Alejandro Kirk goes to the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. All right, so the Rule 5 draft is here, so let's go to the draft. Remember, anybody we pick must be on the Major League roster throughout the entire season or returned to their major, uh, their former club. So they are recommending we get Jorge Bonifacio, which I'm going to veto. It's just straight up going to veto. Um, there's really nobody here that I would suggest that we should go after. Um, our catchers, uh, ooh, we do need to move on from Elias Diaz. Uh, I just remembered that because Soderstrom's now ready to platoon. Um, so we will sign a backup catcher, but it's not going to be from here, or I should say, uh, just skip the selection here. There we go. All right. So Will Stanley, Omar uh, uh, Amas. The Angels are not going to select anybody, so we are good to go. Rule 5 draft comes and goes without any kind of noise. But catchers, we do want to move on from Diaz. Uh, what do we need, really? We need... Um, 
Karin Jack's a closer. Weathers, Ruiz, Rogers, Lee Rodriguez. Um, and then, oh my God, we have so many starting pitchers. Uh, what could we go after? Maybe a backup first baseman, but Bush is there. Bobby Witt Jr. is playing third. Bo Bichette's a shortstop where we have Crawford and Puasen. Maybe, and Castellanos with Sanchez, Verdugo, Tom's, uh, Thompson. Oh man, maybe we just swing on some upside, right? Like somebody with some ridiculous, some young teenager with good upside, right? Uh, this center fielder, Jackie Birch. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Obvious. I mean, it's Elias Diaz, right? So we're not going to get anything too spectacular. Uh, but I would like to go after somebody, you know, with some good potential, maybe younger. Uh, closing pitcher, Graham McLeod. What what else would it take to get this deal done? Take Hedger and Bobby Mora. Um, I doubt that. Uh, they want more. Okay, so Salvador Morez. Okay, let's just... Yeah, so Derek called Luther Morrison. There we go. So Elias Diaz, uh, Alejandro Dominguez, and Luther Morrison for Graham McLeod, who's 1976 from Cali. Deal. Beautiful. And our budget is now up to $16 million a season, which means we can go after... No, I don't think we're going after anybody else. I really, really don't think we should. I think it would be a bad idea to go after somebody else. Could still go after Max Muncy, but again, I like the team we have. I'm going to save that surplus. Um, Red Sox have accepted our deal. Of course they did, because I, I saw that. Thank you. Uh, all right, so I think we're good to go. I think, really, if we don't need anybody in free agency. You guys can see left field, uh, center field, right field in the top 10. Top five third, top five short, sixth and uh, second baseman, top five first, top 10 pitching, Top three catcher and a top five bullpen. So we're just going to simulate 52 days here. Akil Badu goes to the Twins. Dylan Carlson. Oh my God, the Angels are loading up. Uh, I do really want to do a, uh, I want to check here. Alec Bohm of our division rivals. Max Muncy goes to the Red Sox. We were looking at him, but that's where he was. Uh, Crotchet goes to the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Sim to renewable contracts in seven days. Josh Rojas or Arenado. There we go. So renew contracts. We have no renewable contracts. And everybody's been just about signed. I'm very happy with our team. We're going to sim to spring training here. Yes. There we go. All right. So let's get to spring training. Yes. And there we go. Spring training is here. We are. Uh, what kind of team are we? We are the first ranked team. Second in contact. Sixth in power. Fourth in pitching. Fifth in defense. And fourth in speed. Taking a quick look at the depth chart after the season. Uh, after the offseason, I should say, it is Castellanos and Thompson. I don't want Castellanos fielding just because he's that bad of, like, he's in the 50s, guys. Freddie Thompson is a ridiculous fielder, and he's got good contact, right? So Nick Castellanos can be our DH uh, with Freddie Thompson playing every day, and then obviously we can rotate that if somebody's tired, somebody get hurt, right? Uh, Jesus Sanchez is in another contract year. Uh, so is Torkelson, uh, Chisholm, and J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford was solid last year. I can't really say he was spectacular, but he was probably more effective than um, than Jazz Chisholm. But Jazz Chisholm has one more shot to bounce back for us. Uh, at short, we're playing Bobby Witt Jr. I know it's slightly out of position. Uh, that's just because Bobby Witt's the better fielder. Bo Bichette's not in the contract here either. At pitcher, we've got Peterson, Gallon, Glasnow, Rodriguez, J Julius Haffey. I uh, don't know why that is. Taking a look at the pitching rotation, I would like to... Uh, bring one uh, Gunnar Hogland into the rotation. Uh, so Gunnar Hogland goes up there. So yeah, we got Gallon Peterson Hogland, who was, might I add, phenomenal until his injury. He went 12 and five in 25 starts. Um, he had a 307 ERA, 119 WHIP, 19 quality starts of those 25. So only six non-quality starts, um, and a 3.5 WAR. Pretty insane um, for his first full season as a starting pitcher. I'm excited to see what else he does. We got Glass now and Rodriguez. Rodriguez was was started cold and then finished very, very strong. So I was very, very happy with that. And then Tyler Glass now, um, you know, he was solid, right? He wasn't terrible, but I think Scooble moving on from him, saving the money. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. And you guys can see here, our bullpen is going to look like Wicks. Uh, Delgadio is probably going to stay down in the minors for one more year. Blaine Enlow, same thing with him. Tyler Rogers is going to be here. Jose Ruiz, Ryan Weathers, uh, Cade Cavalli. Still got that A potential from Oklahoma. I don't know if he's ever going to hit his potential. He's already 28. Maybe it's time to capitalize on him and actually get another good young pitcher. Lee Rodriguez here. Connie Nelson is here as well. He is only 23, but playing in the bullpen seems like the right thing to do for him. 
maybe flip-flop him with Grayson Rodriguez halfway through the season. And then we know we have Karinchak as our closing pitcher, who was very, very good last year. We went through the lineup. We went through the bullpen. Guys, let me know if there's anything you would like me to see me do. Should I trade somebody? Should I move on from somebody? What should I do? I want to hear from you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And I will see you guys in the next one. This a free for all, free for all, but what we fall. This a free for all, free for all, but what we fall. What we fall.